Hey, what's up everyone? This is Todd Hazelton with Techno Buffalo. I'm here in my hotel room in New York. Uh, we've been here for meetings all week with tons of companies, but now I have the Droid Razor M on this nice Techno Buffalo blue carpet here. Let's take a quick look at it. I already unboxed it a little bit because I was so excited to check it out. Droid Razor M, quick look at the box there. Here's the device itself. We'll go over that in just a second. And inside the box, we have everything you'd expect. Charging cables, booklets on how to use the device, it's a card insert removal tool. Um, you actually need that because I found the SIM card was kind of hard to, to take out and put back in. Start guides, global support, etc. Let's get to the device itself now. Okay, so here we are. We're looking at the screen. It's a 4.3 inch QHD display. Uh, it's pentile. A lot of people are upset about that, but um, I haven't found it's that big of a deal, and you'll see why in just a second. Going around, you can see real solid build quality. It's a Kevlar back. See these nice little screws here holding the case together. The whole thing just feels really, really solid. Uh, you've got the latch here. I'm doing this one-handed because I don't have my tripod with me. Uh, but in any case, this is the latch here where uh, you can add a micro SD card. It comes with 8 gigs of storage, uh, as well as a SIM card for LTE. There's a micro USB charging port. 8 megapixel camera on the back with a single LED flash and as it says it's capable of shooting HD video. Power button on the right there, nice metal color. Volume keys, nothing else. And then it's got this nice sort of chin, chin bottom. And then the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack up top. Now we'll power it on. Now you can see from the unlock screen you can automatically go to phone, camera, text, or unlock. Now here's the screen itself. Whoop. Pardon me. I've set up a few widgets of my own. There was a, a, a clock that Verizon added. Uh, I didn't find it that attractive. But you can see that sort of edge-to-edge -edge display that they're talking about. Uh, there is still a little bit of a border there. But really, that 4.3 inches fits really nicely uh, right here without having to uh, have too much of a bezel. And I actually like that because you get a compact phone with a big screen instead of a big phone with a big screen. Moving through it. You see a quick swipe to the left brings up settings where you can quickly turn on Wi-Fi, GPS. Uh, it's also NFC, or there's also NFC on board, so you can always uh, activate that. Or add a new page by simply tapping there, and we've got a blank page added now. And we can keep doing that. Or you can start with a template, let's see. So you can choose an Amazon template, media, mobile or mobile office. So we'll do mobile office. And then we'll do Amazon. So now we've got an Amazon page, a mobile office page, a blank page, blank page, and the home page. So you can keep adding pages. Quickly jump in here. It's running ice cream sandwich. Motorola says it will update it to Jelly Bean, although it's unclear exactly when at this point, but I believe by the end of the year. And you've got just a bunch of stock. Uh, applications here. Slacker Radio has been added, VZ Navigator of course, uh, Verizon's voicemail. Like most Motorola's recent phones it has smart actions so I set a meeting rule which would technically if I set the location uh, silence the phone when I went into a meeting. Uh, but there's also tons of other uh, different settings. Here you can see it's also got a mobile hotspot and that's with the 4G LTE so you can share this with other devices. Uh, share the connection rather with other devices. Uh, lots of Google services obviously already installed. Uh, NFL Mobile, again from Verizon. What else do we have here? Audible. Amazon's already on here. Then the camera, I found it's okay. I was taking a couple shots, but generally that's been Motorola's sort of weaker point uh, with the camera. And I'll show you my gallery real quick. Here you can see it's a nice layout on the bottom. I was walking around New York City and I took a couple photos. See, in this one, it's a little little washed out. It's not that bright and colorful, but it's okay. I just still prefer the Galaxy S3 camera uh, and others. There's a, a seat I took a picture of. Speaking of that, let's go into the gallery and I'll show you a video I shot as well. We'll turn down the volume because there's just background noise, but video looks great on the screen and I haven't played it back yet on my computer, but really decent just quick little clip there 
uh, while I was playing with it. I made a couple calls yesterday, sounded good. Uh, data speeds have been okay, but here in New York I was actually stuck on 3G for a while uh, yesterday. You can see right now I've got a 4G LTE connection, however, so that's nice. Um, in any case, that's a quick look here. Uh, Gorilla Glass 2 screen, got the Kevlar back, like I said. A 2000 milliamp hour battery, so you should be able to get through today. Um, I haven't charged this since I opened it yesterday, and you can see we're still at um, about probably a third of the battery left, so not so bad. Uh, eight gigabytes of on, on onboard storage and a $99 price point. Uh, pre orders begin now, and you can actually get it next week. This is Todd Hazelton from a hotel in New York City with Techno Buffalo, and that was a quick look at the Motorola Droid Razor M for Verizon Wireless.